Hey guys, welcome back to this series. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to connect your Angular 4 app to your backend headless WordPress API. Just to let you guys know, I am in no way, shape, or form a master of Angular. Uh, in fact, I'm very bad at it, but what I am good at is connecting WordPress to any kind of application. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do today. This is not by any means gonna be an Angular tutorial, just simply how to connect to your WordPress data with Angular. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is we have to install a, uh, an Angular app on our device or on our computer. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm gonna CD into uh, where I want to create the app. Um, so I'm just going to drag the folder over here. Oops. Put a space. Okay. And now the first thing you have to do is you have to globally install the command line interface to create Angular apps. So we'll say npm install, or I'm sorry, when you install anything global make sure you use the sudo command if you're on a mac if you're on windows make sure you are a root or admin user so sudo npm install dash g for global at angular slash cli enter in your password now i have this installed already but it's probably going to reinstall it um, so I'll, this is going to take a couple minutes i'll go ahead and fast forward through this process Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and create a new Angular app. So to do that, we're just gonna type in ng new, and we'll call it headless-angular. And make sure you're still in the directory that you wanna create this app. And this too will take some time. It's basically just gonna be installing a lot of node packages. Uh, so give it a few minutes, even if it looks like it's not doing anything. Uh, just give it a couple minutes and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now that that's created, I'm going to go ahead and open up the folder where it is installed. So if you look, we have this headless Angular app. Now right here is my uh, WordPress um, website that's currently running with, uh, with MAMP right here. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to just copy this, uh, this whole file and uh, paste it into the Angular app. I was all in one folder. You can easily change all the files in there. And I'm actually going to rename it to admin. So that's what it is. Um, and then, so now that we change where our WordPress site is being hosted, we have to change uh, where our map sees it. So we're going to say stop. Preferences. Click the folder. And We'll go into headless angular admin select okay start and once it's up go ahead and just refresh your admin back end make sure it's working just fine okay we're good all right so now let's go ahead and uh, open up our angular app so we're going to drag it into our visual studio code All right, here it is. Let me just uh, resize this accordingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the terminal in my text editor. You can use your um, regular terminal if you want. It's the same thing. Just make sure you are in the actual folder uh, where you installed the app. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start this app. Um, so we're gonna use the Angular command ng serve dash dash open. And this will take a minute, um, but it will show up on localhost 4200. After it builds everything. Okay, so now that our app is started, we're going to go ahead and open up. Um, if you haven't already, um, open up your source folder, your app, and then your app.module dot TypeScript. Okay. And so the first thing we have to do in here is we have to bring in uh, the HTTP client module, which allows you to make a GET request to your 
uh, WordPress server or your WordPress API. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is import the HTTP client module. Um, and this is part of the um, Angular package that it shipped with. So we're going to say HTTP client module from and quote at angular slash common slash HTTP. Okay, and now we need to put it in our imports. So after browser module, it's very important it's after browser module because it does depend on uh, browser module in order for it to work. So HTTP client module. Okay. And uh, that's it for this file for the module. And this basically installs it. Um, and you can see right here it's building it all out for you. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go into our component uh, .typescript file. And uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to import uh, one more thing from the Angular core. So we're going to put a comma and on init. And this allows us to create an on init method or function, which basically runs as soon as the app is initiated. All right, so after we've imported that, we're going to import um, the HTTP client. And that's going to be from Angular slash comma slash HTTP. Okay. And the next thing we got to do is um, underneath our component, um, sorry, right here, and our when we export the class of app component, we want to actually implement the on init method. Um, and so then what we're going to do is we're going to call projects equals to and we're going to set this to an empty array um, so what we're doing here is basically this is where all of our projects are going to be loaded into once we do pull them from the api um, so after our projects uh, we actually don't need this title anymore if we save it it's probably going to give us a big error um, so we'll just keep going we're going to say constructor private http http client uh, this basically builds out the uh, HTTP client for us before it actually loads so that we can use the HTTP method. Um, and so that's pretty much how that is done. After that, now we're going to use our ng on init. And it's a function. And it's going to say, we're going to say void and open up a new object. And our error right here went away because we called our on init since it is implementing on an it. Okay, so now we're gonna call this dot http dot get and then this is going to be our um, our endpoint that is provided from WordPress. So if we go to wp dash json slash wp slash v2 slash projects and um, the reason I'm going in the URL is to make sure that this get request will work and you can see all the data right there. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that URL in there. And then we're gonna do dot subscribe. And then we're gonna do data and it's gonna be an arrow function. And what we need to do now is since we're pulling this um, information right here, this JSON, it comes back as an object. Now the thing about Angular is you cannot store, you cannot iterate over um, items in an object. Uh, it's just because of the inconsistency that, uh, or at least the conceived inconsistency that Google has found, they decided to not allow you to iterate over objects. So what you have to do is you basically have to do a workaround to turn it into an array. Um, and so that's why we created this empty array of projects up here. So we're going to do a for loop and say for, and then you got to set the key. So let key and then in data. And the reason it's in data is because right here we call the data. Actually, let me move this over so I don't have to keep doing that. Okay, so for let key and data, um, so for each uh, key in the data, we're going to say if data dot has own property, so key. So for each key, what we're going to do is we're going to say this dot projects which is the array up here 
you're going to push it. And what are you going to push? You're going to push that key and the data. So sorry if that's really confusing. You can blame Angular for that. Um, let's see. There's an extra. Um, I'm missing something here. OK, there's one missing parenthesis. There we go. OK, so now basically what this does is it gets the data from WordPress and it puts it all into an array called projects. Now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and console log this this dot projects and this will console log this right here so we can see it in our app so I'll go ahead and save it and it should automatically refresh um, if you see it getting stuck at 92% usually something's wrong uh, but in this case it went through so say inspect go to the console and here is our data and it is nicely formatted into an array and that array has two objects. Perfect. So now we can iterate through this data and put it onto our app. So now we're going to go to the app.component.html, which is the templating system. And uh, we're going to just delete all of this for now. And we're going to put a HTML projects. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple list. And in each list, we're just going to call list item. And now in order to iterate over an array in Angular, you just do the star ng for with the capital F equals to let project of projects, just like that. So for each project in the array of projects, we are going to say um, project.title.rendered. And the reason I did that exact text is because if you go into your console log and you open up just the first item in the array, um, you can go down to title and rendered. And so this should pull up test two and then whatever the title is for the second object in the array. So we'll go ahead and save this. And we have our two titles for our two uh, projects in our WordPress data. Okay, so now let's just, um, let's try putting in an image here. So we're gonna say image. Now let's go back to the uh, console log and put this in the, the doc. Okay, so if we go to console, we open this up. How do we get an image? Uh, we got to go to better featured image and we're going to get the alt text from here as well as we could just get the source of the, the featured image if we just do source URL. What I usually like to do is make sure I pick a size so that it's not enormously big if the user uploaded a huge file. Uh, so we're going to say source equals double curlies project dot uh, what is it? Better featured image and then dot. So I'm going into this object and we're going to go into media details dot sizes dot medium dot source URL. And just to confirm, we open up the medium object, you will see the source URL and that is where our picture is at. Okay, and make sure you do the and the curly braces. Now for the alt tag, uh, very similar. It, we're just going to go into the, uh, where's that? So same thing, project dot better feature image dot alt text. And this should load our two featured images for our two projects. And it did not. Why? It says cannot read property media details of undefined. Um, oh, I put this plus sign in here. Project should be an underscore. Save that. 
And there we go, we have our two images and if we inspect it, uh, we'll see the alt right there is the alt that I had put in uh, in the WordPress site. Okay, um, so that is how you integrate your WordPress API into your Angular application. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest connoisseur of Angular and uh, to be honest, I don't know everything about it. But if you have a question, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll do everything I can to help you out. I'll see you guys in the next video.